Nepali authorities have recovered 21 bodies out of 22 people who were on board a plane that crashed in the Himalayas yesterday. Efforts are underway to bring the dead to Kathmandu. Search operations for the one remaining person missing are ongoing. Emergency personnel had earlier located the wreckage of the missing aircraft on a hillside. Authorities say that the chances of survival are low. They say that the plane collided with a large rock. Some 60 people are working at the crash site, including the army, police, mountain guides and locals. Among the 22 on board were four Indians, two Germans and 16 locals, of whom three were crew members. Authorities were able to send a team to the crash site, but no other flight has been possible due to bad weather. Flight operator Tara Air flies to many remote destinations across Nepal. The airline suffered its last fatal accident in 2016 on the same route. The aircraft departed for a 20-minute flight yesterday from the tourist town of Pokhara. It was headed to Jomsom in the west. But it went off radar five minutes before it was expected to land. Puja Pant tells us why the route is particularly dangerous. This route, unfortunately, is... Uh you know, one of the most dangerous routes probably in uh, in Nepal. Uh, there is a lot of uh, mountain routes who are that are very dangerous, and this is one of them. There is um, two gorges, and the plane kind of flies through the gorges. But the problem uh, in this particular flight was the bad weather, uh, because it was extremely cloudy and. Um, uh, the, the plane, uh, what I just found out from the Civil Aviation Authority, is that uh, they have uh, VFR, so visual flight rules. That, that means that they cannot fly if they cannot see. So when there's a cloudy condition, they are not allowed to fly. So the, the, the airplane had already contacted the tower in Jomsom, uh, mentioning to them that they were preparing to land, but it uh, came into a cloudy situation where they entered Jomsom and... Uh, Instead of turning right, uh, perhaps the pilot thought to avoid the bad weather, he would turn left, uh, maybe to come back or maybe to make a circle around the airport. And I think that's when they crashed into the mountains. So it's just, um, I think, avoiding bad weather would be the, 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 the most important thing to, be, to prevent these crashes from happening.